Hello everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview as well as sharing some benchmarks on this brand new SSD from Samsung. This is the Samsung 850 Pro. I have the 128 gigabyte version right here. It's also available in 256, 512 gigabyte as well as one terabyte capacities. And it has a fancy new type of NAND that Samsung has called 3D vNAND. Here's a quick look at the retail box. They're maintaining a lot of the same design aesthetics that they had with the 840 seri series, which is a very popular series of SSD from Samsung. Um, now some interesting stuff about this one. First off, this was an early review sample. So this one says five year warranty, but you're actually gonna get a 10 year warranty from Samsung for this product. And that's largely due to the new 3D VNAND and the enhanced durability that you get as a result. But I wanted to point out this chart down here in the lower left-hand corner that's giving you some of the speeds and input output operations per second ratings uh, for the various capacities. Now they gave a 128 gigabyte capacity here and I actually think that the 128 is gonna be a great option for a lot of folks out there who are looking for a more cost-effective solution but they don't wanna sacrifice on speed. And you'll notice a lot of times if you go down to the lower capacity drives, your 120, 128 gig versions, you won't have quite as much speed, both read and write uh, speed as you do with the higher capacity versions. That means that's because the higher capacity versions have more NAND chips on them so they can make you of all of the channels from the controller. But thanks to that 3D VNAND, you're gonna get just about the same sequential read performance and almost the same sequential write performance, and you can see that reflected in the input-output operations per second as well. Apart from that, inside the box, you're gonna get a bit of documentation. This is the warranty statement summary. Again, 10-year warranty, so Samsung is really standing behind this drive. You can also have a quick installation guide. This is not an upgrade kit, so bear in mind you might need some stuff to connect it, like a serial ATA cable, for example. You get a couple Samsung SSD stickers there as well. And then, of course, the drive itself. Onto the drive itself, which has the same distinctive characteristics as the Samsung 840 series. You have that orange square in the center. You have kind of the beveled edges around the outside and the black finish, which looks quite nice. I find if you do have a case where you can see your SSD inside, then uh, this Samsung 850 series will stand out just like the 840 series did. Here in the back, you can see some of the drive information. Uh, connectors down here at this end. This is still a standard serial ATA 6 gigabit per second drive or serial ATA revision 3. Uh, the controller inside is also the Samsung MEX controller, which is the same one that you might uh, be fam familiar with with the 840 EVO. It has three ARM cores and eight parallel NAND channels, as well as that SATA 6 gigabit per second uh, interface. A couple more little bonus features you get with this drive uh, is it does support ultra low power dev sleep mode, so uh, it can actually uh, sip just two milliwatts of power while it's inactive, um, which is very cool since about 80 to 90 percent of the time, depending on your uh, usage, your drive is probably going to be inactive. And you also still get hardware-based 256-bit AES encryption if you're interested in encrypting the information on your drive, so it makes it much more difficult for uh, ne'er-do-wells to steal that from you. Uh, apart from that, it's a standard 2.5-inch drive. You have a 7-millimeter Z height right there, which means it will fit in some slimmer notebooks, but uh, bear in mind, not MSATA or anything that small, so you do still need a 2.5-inch drive, and it's got those standard 2.5-inch mounts on the sides as well as the bottom. And now I have popped open the 850 Pro to show you guys the inside. Don't do this at home because you might void your warranty, but you can see the Samsung MEX controller right there at the center. There's some Samsung DRAM right there for caching as well. And then we have one, two, three, and four. 3D VNAND chips, which is your actual storage. Now, it might not look very tall, um, it looks pretty much the same as other NAND chips to me, but they've actually stacked the NAND vertically within there rather than in a 2D fashion or planar NAND. Uh, stacking the NAND vertically, it's allowed Samsung to increase the capacity and speed of the chips. It also allows them to reduce the power consumption and it increases the durability as previously mentioned, as much as 10 times actually compared to typical planar NAND. Um, most MLC NAND, for example, is gonna have a program array cycle rating of about 3,000 to 5,000 program array cycles, depending on the manufacturing process. Unofficial estimates put the 850 Pro at about 10,000 program array cycles, um, but Samsung isn't really listing that specific spec. Um, they're going with total bytes written, or TBW, stating 150 terabytes total, which is about 40 gigabytes per day over the 10-year warranty period of this drive. But if you look at actual testing, um, whether it's done by Samsung or other independent reviewers that are out there, the terabytes written ratings are actually quite conservative, um, and these drives can actually often write a petabyte or more of data without issue. But um, even at 40 gigs a day, 
um, you're still going to have plenty, plenty of uh, write cycles for this drive. And again, that's um, roughly or more than double um, a lot of the programmer rate cycle, or a lot of the durability rating a lot of, from a lot of the planar NAND that is out there. Another thing that I'm not going to show you guys today, um, but there is a demo of it over on our 840 EVO SSD video if you want to check it out, is Samsung has also included their data migration software along with this drive, which is very, very helpful if you're upgrading to an existing operating uh, if you're upgrading and you have an existing operating system installation that you want to continue uh, to use. They also have the Samsung SSD Magician software, which can perform useful tasks like updating this drive's firmware. Uh, it can do operating system optimization, over-provisioning control. It can enable encryption, uh, and it can also do the ever-important secure erase function. Uh, it also has ra what's called rapid mode, uh, which will use your system's DRAM to cache data for the A50 Pro to boost the performance even more. And the latest version of rapid mode uh, lets you set aside up to 25% of your system RAM, or like 4 gigs in a 16 gig system, uh, specifically for rapid modes to use, which is pretty cool. So for our benchmarks, we're testing with an Intel Core i7-4770K. We're connected to an Asus Z87 Pro motherboard, and the SSD is connected directly to the Z87's Peripheral Controller Hub, or PCH, uh, with the native SATA 6 gigabits per second interface. Uh, this is a brand new formatted drive, and first test we're going to be running here, or that I already ran, is AS SSD. This is the same test on both sides. We're just seeing megabytes per second on the left, and input-output operations per second on the right. Uh, this is the highest score I have seen for a 128 gig drive. It's very uh, excellent performance. We can see about 500 megabytes per second on the reads, a little over 450 megabytes per second on the writes. Very, very fast access times, all less than 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 milliseconds. Uh, and then for input-output operations per second over on the right side, we can see we got just shy of 100,000 for the reads and a little bit over 75,000 for the writes. That's not quite up to the uh, 90,000 that's indicated on the box, but there are more tests that will indicate that um, as we move along. Next up, we have Atto Disk Benchmark, and this is a very popular disk benchmark to be used by manufacturers to show the maximum performance of their drives. So uh, we can see the write and read columns both there on the left side. Um, this is testing 256 megabytes total length uh, uh, tests with transfer sizes from 0 0.5 all the way up to 8,192 kilobytes or 8 megabytes. Uh, and here we can see writes we max out at about 480 megabytes per second. And for reads, we maxed out about 561. We actually hit a 563 there, which is very, very fast. And some of the fastest tests uh, that I've seen, that's pretty much bumping right up against the serial ATA uh, 6 gigabits per second maximum transfer speed. Um, now, this is Q-Depth 4, which you're really never going to see in a desktop environment. But we also run it at Q-Depth 10 just to give the drive uh, as much possible uh, data to work with as possible we can. We see similar results again, about 480 megabytes per second for the writes and about 560 megabytes per second, give or take, for the reads. Excellent performance overall. Uh, this is the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, and uh, this just runs a quick test on your drive to determine how well it might work uh, in various video editing configurations. So we have a bunch of different types of uh, video resolutions and color depths, and uh, it will just test the sequential read and write performance. We had about 503. Uh, megabytes per second on the read, about uh, just shy of 450 on the writes once again. And here we can see green check boxes in uh, just about every single category except for some of the uh, higher frame rates, 1080p, higher color depth uh, tests. And that's uh, really only, you're only going to see that when you're going with really high end video editing stuff. So for most folks, if you're doing video editing at home, 1080p, 30 frames per second, give or take, you're going to be just fine. Lastly, we have Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, this is a very popular free test, so you can download it and run it, and run it at home if you want to see how fast your drives are. Again, over 500 megabytes per second on the reads, about 510. 477.9 megabytes per second on the writes. That is uh, beyond what is stated on the box. And 4K tests are very important um, when you're talking about at-home usage. This will be the biggest impact on simple day-to-day -day tasks and computer peppiness for that example. Uh, here we can see those tests reflected over in the uh, more detailed test results. So for a Q depth of 32, which again is impractical for home use, but it's really just to show the performance of the drive, we had over 400 megabytes per second in the Q depth 32 test that equivalent equated to just shy of 100,000 input-output oper input operations per second. Similar uh, uh, results with the uh, four, 4 kilobyte QDEP32 tests with random writes. We had 362 megabytes per second, and again, just, just shy of the 90,000 IOPS that we also saw advertised on the box. 
And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Samsung 850 Pro. We've been testing the 128 gig version. It's available in capacities all the way up to one terabyte, and you can find links for all of those down in this video's description. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment to let me know which capacity you would want to get if you were going to get an 850 Pro, and we'll see you all very soon.